Hello. I'd like to present a, a video on how to use Excel to integrate. Okay, so here's the basic plan. Suppose we have a function, y equals f of x. And we want to integrate that function from x initial to x final. Consider a very closely spaced array of x values, x0, x1, x2, all right? That you would put on a spreadsheet. And the separation between these x values will be very small. Uh, the integral can be replaced by a sum of f of the integral of f of x dx is approximately equal to the sum of the f of x values. We're actually going to use the average of adjacent values times the spacing delta s summed up over all points. All right, let me just show you what I mean by this. This is called the trapezoidal method. All right, so uh, the function I've chosen is uh, a function for a circle y equals x squared plus y squared equals 1. So y equals uh, the square root of 1 minus x squared. All right. So that's what I programmed here. And you can see it's half of a circle, all right? I went from minus 1 to plus 1. I chose that because we know what the interval is. It's the area under the curve. It's the area of uh, a semicircle, all right? So for a unit circle of, of radius 1, the pi r squared is the area. So since r is 1, pi r, pi 1, pi, that would be the area of the whole circle. So the semicircle would be pi over 2, OK? So we can see how well we do. So let's take a look. I, I've made the x values differ by 0.01 here. And here I made them differ by 0.0001. And here by just two tenths, all right. So you can see my values are pretty spaced out, all right. And here's the way I, I do the integral. Let me just uh, try to show you. We look at each little trapezoid here, and we take the average of adjacent points, and that average times the spacing, which is 2, all right? And that would give, it, give us this area. And the next one would be this area. And you can see this may not be perfect, but the closer the x values are to one another, the closer it will be. So let, let's go back to the first sheet where we made our spacing 0.01. Alright, so we have our first column, which is the x values. Second column, which is the y values. Look. It's the square root of 1 minus x squared. Alright, I've copied that all the way down. Now, the third column is my increment. I'm going to take the average of adjacent values and multiply by the increment spacing increment, all right? You can see I have b6 plus b5, I have two adjacent values, times the spacing divided by 2, because uh, I want the average of these two points times the spacing. OK, so how well does this do, all right? OK, so right here in this column, I have the integral, I have integral. which is the sum of everything in this column, all right? OK. And we compare it to pi over 2. This is pi over 2, all right? And the difference as a percent, the absolute difference, is 0.037%. It's not great, but it's not bad, all right? Now let's see what happens when we make the spacing smaller. Here I made the spacing 0 0.0001, all right? And now this is my value for the integral, the sum of everything in that column. And this is pi over 2. 
and the error is like 3.74 times 10 to the minus 5. And then when I make the spacing very large, all right, like I did here, the error is 3.3%. So the trick is to make your spacing very small. But you can do this with any function. You can get the interval of any function. So you, you have your x values, ideally very close together over the range that you want to integrate. You plug in your function according to, it's a function of x, copy it down, and then you, you set up your increments. It's a bunch of increments that you're adding together, which is the difference in the adjacent values divided by 2 times the delta x, all right, and sum that up, all right, very simple thing. This is called the trapezoidal method of getting the integral, the integral, all right. Okay, I hope you all understand that, and I'd like to, in the future, do some more examples, all right, of how you get, use Excel to get integrals. Having students do this makes them better understand what you're doing when you take an interval, all right? Which they might just do blindly, but you're really getting the area under the curve, all right? Okay, so thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.